Now, one of the most soul destroying and damaging shots out there is topping the golf ball just like this to where you hit just above the equator of the golf ball and that ball just stays along the ground and goes absolutely nowhere. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three reasons to why you hit a top shot and three fixes for it. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's get rid of the top shot. So let's get into the first reason to why you top that golf ball. And that is as you're coming down the downswing, your weight is hanging back on your back leg. So this can also cause you to fat the ball and thin the ball too. So when that weight hangs back on the back leg, that causes the lowest point that my club is traveling to really be behind the golf ball. So if this is the lowest point my club is traveling, then it's either gonna, one, it could plummet straight into the ground, you could fat it, or two, it will start to raise upwards and you'll start to hit the ball a little bit on the upswing. So then you would hit just above the equator of the golf ball. Let's try one here. Cause you to top the golf ball there. So what a lot of you guys are trying to do by doing that is try to help the ball up in the air. You're hanging back to try and get that ball up in the air because it makes sense, doesn't it? If you're hanging back here, you need to help and scoop that ball up there. But ironically, that'll actually get your hit to ball lower because you'll top the golf ball. It'll either low, thin or fat. So nowhere in the air at all. So what we need to do we need to make sure that we are getting that weight onto the left side. If you're getting your weight forward and on that left side going towards the target, instead of your low point being behind the ball when your weight is hanging back, your low point will now be in front of the ball. That will help you hit down, descending down onto that golf ball. So then you could hit ball, then turf. You'll be using the loft of the golf club properly ball will be going up in the air. So a brilliant drill for this is called the step through drill. Now with a step through drill, what we do, we set up to the golf ball like normal. And then what I do, I just bring my left foot over to my right foot. So they're together. And then I bring my club. So it's in the middle of my two feet as well. Now, all I do from here, as I start swinging back, I step through and then swing through the shot. So I'm just gonna swing up, step through as I'm swinging up and hit the ball. That's gonna really get you. So you are stepping through and getting that weight forward and moving on there. It can be a challenging drill to start off doing, but it'll be a one that's very beneficial in getting your weight forward. Not many drills out there that are better than this to get your weight forward. So one more time, set up to that golf ball normally, get your left foot, bring it to your right foot, get your club, bring it so it's in the middle of your two feet. Then as we swing back, we step through and hit the golf shot. Now the next reason here, the second reason is where you are coming into your downswing and your left arm is bending as you're coming through that golf ball. Now, how that will get you to top the golf ball. If you see from this angle, as I'm swinging into the golf ball and my left arm is bending as I'm coming in there, so getting too bent, that club is of course gonna travel upwards because as soon as my left arm bends, the club is gonna be more elevated off the ground. So if I'm doing that coming into the golf ball, boom, I'm gonna hit a, a top shot. So let's bend that arm coming into the golf ball. Yep, we're gonna have a big top shot, the ball's gonna go quite low. Now, a lot of you guys are doing this because your swing path, for example, might be a little bit too much out in the outside and you're pulling in or you're just bracing for the shot and pulling upwards in there. I'll put a card up there for really fixing your swing path for this. But what we wanna do from this video here, we wanna be making sure that we are keeping that left arm straight coming into the golf shot. We wanna keep that left arm straight and being straight past the golf ball. If I can keep that left arm straight coming into the shot, then my club isn't gonna be elevating off the ground here. So keeping left arm straight, will mean I'll hit a much more consistent shot through there. Club will be staying in its level nicely. So a great drill to do if your left arm is bending, coming up to, into impact, causing to top the golf ball, is to get any kind of small mid-sized ball like this. So it could be a training aid like a Tour Striker Smart Ball, or it could just be a general small kind of inflatable ball like this. So what we do with this is we put it in between our arms here. Now you can see if that left arm bends coming into the, the shot there, boom, where's that ball going? it's rolling down. So what I wanna be doing here, I wanna keep this ball in between my arms as I'm swinging through. I don't want it to be flying down there because that means my left arm will be bending. I wanna keep my left arm straight and feel like it's staying straight post impact and that'll give me the best feeling in here. Keeping this in between your arms will keep that left arm a bit straighter anyway. So let's hit a shot here. Just a little one to start off with, keeping this ball in between my arms, feeling like my left arm is straight past the ball. And there we go, we won't be topping it from there. So reason number three, and that is as you're coming down the downswing again, so another downswing thing, is you are coming out of your posture. So your chest is raising upwards. So again, like the bent left arm, if our chest raises upwards and we extend upwards coming through the golf ball, of course, my chest is moving up, 
my hands and arms are attached to my chest, so they are going to move up as well. So then I am going to hit the top of the golf ball, extended them upwards just like that. That was a crazy top. That'll even hit the ground and bounce back up. So yeah, as you can see, that'll get you to top the ball like mad. So what we want to be doing in the golf swing, I'll put a card up there for a more in-depth video on this topic as well. But when we're coming down the downswing, we want to be staying in your posture. Now, someone might say you're lifting your head up. Technically, yes, you're lifting your head up this way, but it's because your chest is moving up. But don't think of keeping your head down. Don't think of that. Make sure you're just staying in posture because if you keep your head down all the way through the shot, you might hit the ball better, but you won't rotate because your head is still down looking at the ground there. What we want to be thinking, we want to be thinking chest. Keep the chest down. Really be thinking that your chest is getting over onto your left leg. So this is the drill here. We want to be hitting some shots where we feel like instead of coming upwards, we're feeling like that chest is getting closer to my left leg as I'm coming down in the downswing. Feel like I'm flexing down, not extending upwards. So if I'm flexing down with that chest and then rotating through the ball, I am then gonna be keeping that club traveling a little bit close to that golf ball and not on the equator there. So chest down over your left leg and that's gonna get you to where you're hitting a nice solid shot. So there we go, three reasons to why you could hit a top shot and three fixes as well. So really make sure you know what one you are here and then you'll be able to apply those fixes to your game properly and you won't be topping the ball again, I can guarantee it. So if you like this video, of course, click that like button. And if you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So make sure you're doing these properly and you will not be topping the golf ball.